Today we're talking grill baskets. First up, what is a grill basket? Uh, well, they are they have tons of different types of grill baskets, uh, but basically they're either made out of wire mesh or they are perforated or laser cut, uh, usually stainless, sometimes non-stick, and they're just something that will contain food on top of your grill and help you to cook it, usually in a more versatile way or, um, or again, contained, which depending on the type of food can come out really nice for that kind of stuff. And we'll, we'll cover some of that as we actually go down some of the types of grill baskets. They are all used about the same as well. Now, some of them work better for certain things. And again, we'll cover that. Um, but basically you preheat your grill like you normally would for whatever temperature, depending on what you're cooking. And the grill basket is placed on the grill. Some of them have removable handles or small handles that are built in. Th that type you're able to place on the grill, shut your lid, come back two minutes later, depending on what you're cooking, you know, toss it around, turn it, whatever. Um, and then there are some that have handles that are either removable, which still allows you to close the lid, or I have uh, used some where they are not removable, but they're usually fairly flat and long, the handle portion. And so I will set that on the grill with the handle towards the very edge front of the grill. And that way I'm able to still close the lid. The lid stays open, you know, quarter inch. So it doesn't really hurt anything. Although there are grill baskets made for any countless number of things, uh, individually made to do certain things, there are basically four main types that work really well and that are worth having. I, they're part of the toolkit as far as I'm concerned. That you know, I, I have all four of these types, multiple of them really. Um, but they're, they're always great to have, have around and depending on what you're cooking and like I said, they add to the versatility of your grilling. Um, they, they really make it more limitless once you have a nice set of grill baskets. The first up is the most common type and it is what is known as a grill wok topper. Um, I'm not really sure why they call them wok toppers because they're not round, they're kind of square, but they're wok toppers. Uh, they're usually, like I said, perforated or laser cut or made out of wire mesh. Uh, these are great for sliced vegetables, shrimp, any kind of small items. Um, you're using these sort of like you would saute on the stove, um, on your stove top. You're probably using some tongs in there with it or a spoon or something like that, maybe a spatula. Um, you know, so these are great for veggies all day, all night. That's, this is, they go on at the same time. You're able to do a nice big mix, mixed veggies and all that good stuff. Crank it out and set it on the table, ready to rock. Next up is my personal favorite type. And to me, it's the most versatile. And this type is a, um, a flexing type metal grill basket. And the way they achieve that is, um, these are usually stainless steel. You can get a couple of them non-stick some with removable handles and some without. But basically you're talking about a wire mesh grid and they interlock the wire mesh runs with something called a snap ring. It's just a little metal ring, kind of like what you put your keys on, on your keychain. And what that allows it to do is constantly flex. So when you put food in a grill basket on your grill, as it loses moisture from grilling, your food will shrink. When your food shrinks, standard wire baskets they don't shrink. And so now you have a basket out here, but your food's somewhere here in the middle. You flip your food over and your food goes blah, 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 blah. I guess I can't do that, huh? You turn your food over, bam, bam, jumble around like it's at, at a, a rock concert. It's in the mosh pit, if you will. And now you have a plate that you're serving your loved ones that looks very beat up or torn up. Not good, but it can be fixed. You take the flexi type with the snap rings, easy fix. Like I said, it continually moves in and out with your food. So if you have a strange contoured item, um, a lot of times fish will have a high end and, a, and as they fillet it down or make steaks out of it, it'll have a thinner end. Well, uh, again, a normal basket, metal, it's clamping on to this, this thick end, but the thin end is can't wait to get beat up when you turn it over. Like that's what, that's what it showed up for. Another common type that also works pretty well is um, a metal adjustable basket. Um, so it does not continually flex, but it is adjustable in the beginning. Usually to one side, you're able to adjust it maybe three, three locks down or four or five. It just kind of depends on the brand. These are usually non-stick. Um, you can get a couple of them stainless steel, but usually non-stick. And you have some with, with removable handles, some without. 
Um, these are great for, I use them a lot of times when traveling and cooking um, bread type items, making desserts for the grill. They're great for that, they work really well. The nonstick helps out. Um, so you know, these are just yet another type that you can use. And the final type that um, is still fairly common is um, either what they consider a shaker basket or a perforated skillet. And the perforated skillet is just what it sounds like. It is about a 10 to 12 inch skillet couple inch, maybe two inches high on the sides, and it's either perforated or laser cut or wire mesh or something like that. And the shaker baskets themselves are more like a saucier kind of pan, which is like a skillet, except it has four to six inch sides. And those guys usually come with a perforated or mesh lid to contain the food. I really like those a lot because you can, you know, you can shake your food. You can do sort of like a flash, a flash grill, which is kind of like broiling. Um, you know, for again, for shrimp, uh, mixed vegetables, Brussels sprouts are phenomenally done in that kind of a basket. I mean, it's like a go-to for that kind of thing. Those are great. For those of you who have asked and those of you who are trying to build your perfect grilling toolbox, that's how you do it.